Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Comparison of plasma with solids, liquids, and gases. Answer. Sure, let's compare plasma with solids, liquids, and gases based on some fundamental physics concepts. 1. Atomic structure and movement. Solids. Atoms and solids are tightly packed in a regular pattern. They vibrate around fixed positions due to thermal energy. Liquids. Atoms and liquids are also close together, but not in a fixed arrangement. They can move past each other, allowing liquids to flow and take the shape of their container. Gases. Atoms or molecules and gases are far apart and move freely in all directions. Gases expand to fill their container completely. Plasma. Plasma consists of ionized gas where atoms have lost or gained electrons, resulting in a mix of free electrons and positively charged ions. These charged particles respond to electric and magnetic fields and exhibit collective behavior. 2. Phase transitions. Solids. Transform to liquids, melting, and then to gases, vaporization, with increasing temperature. Liquids. Transition to gases, vaporization, as temperature increases, or solids, freezing, as temperature decreases. Gases. Undergo condensation to liquids or deposition to solids with decreasing temperature. Plasma. Plasma does not have a distinct melting or boiling point like solids, liquids, and gases. It forms when gases are heated to high temperatures, causing ionization. 3. Electrical conductivity. Solids. Electrical conductivity varies widely. Metals are good conductors due to the mobility of electrons, while nonmetals are generally poor conductors. Liquids. Some liquids conduct electricity if they contain ions, electrolytes. But pure liquids like water are poor conductors. Gases. Typically poor conductors of electricity except under specific conditions, e.g., ionization. Enlightening. Plasma. Plasma is an excellent conductor of electricity due to the presence of free-moving charged particles, electrons, and ions. It can conduct electric current and respond strongly to electromagnetic fields. 4. Response to electric and magnetic fields. Solids generally do not respond strongly to electric or magnetic fields unless they are ferromagnetic or polarized. Liquids. Response to electric and magnetic fields is minimal, similar to solids. Gases. Can be influenced by electric fields, e.g., lightning, but are generally neutral and do not respond strongly to magnetic fields.